Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her O'er the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me Oh I'm coming back home to Ireland Get me LaFalta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today is the last programme of Series 5. I feel sad uh, that it's the last programme, but there, please God, if the demand is good enough, um, there will be more. So the best thing to do is write to TG Cahar or any of the stations and ask for more of Irish Paint Magic. The other thing is I want to thank each and every one of you people for inviting me into your homes. Uh, it was a pleasure to be with you. If I helped you in any way, I am delighted we've done that. And on behalf of myself and all the crew here at the studios, I want to sincerely thank everybody that wrote in the phone calls, the emails, the letters into the station asking for more. So I'm going to ask you to come up here now onto the, onto the canvas. And I've got a 24 by 18 canvas covered again with black gesso. And I'm going to cover all that. It's too dry. And I'm going to cover all that with liquid clear and the two inch brush. So straight away, I go over the whole lot with a two inch brush and liquid clear. And I can't say enough, stress it enough that whatever you do, make sure that you spread that out well. It's not that you're saving it now. It's not that you're saving it, but it doesn't work if you put on too much, you'll have to take it back off again. You only want to make the canvas slip. So it's not that you're saving it, it's just that if you put on too much, you'll have to take it off because the liquid clear will run down the canvas later and you'll have a lovely painting and it will just make your life miserable. So that's all I'm saying to you, be careful. Covering it all now. Right in and right up. This painting is going to bring back a lot of memories of my childhood in the country, living in the country. Not living there, but going out there for my holidays. For the old relations. They had a lot to put up with, but they put up with me. But it's nice when you go out to the country for your summer holidays and meet the animals and be with nature and the land. So that's all covered now in, um, in liquid clear. Up here, I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid white. Not much. There's no need to clean the brush now. Just put a little bit of liquid white up there. And it doesn't matter if you come down over the tree line there a little bit. That doesn't matter. In you go and come right down over it. Now straight away I'm going to go into phalo blue. I should stress the fact too that um, we don't use a whole lot of colours. If you notice, the most colours I have are about 11 colours. Because there's no point in you being confused going into an art store. There's 10 or 12 colours will do you fine. And you'll find that there's 50 tubes of green, another 50 of red, another 50 of blue, etc. And it only makes your life miserable because if you keep your life simple and use this system of which you can pick up the phone number and the address of the supplies on the program, all you have to do is work with those 12 colors or whatever. And they will get any color you want, any color. And that's all you need if you have the the 12 colors plus the, um, the liquid white and magic white and the liquid clear, you're flying. Now, um, I'm going to go straight in to put a little foliage on the, or to put, put a few clouds on the sky, in with the one inch brush, pull it out flat, pull it out flat, and come on up to the canvas. And here, tap it in and think of the sun in the sky, hitting the top of the cloud and just tap away, but don't go back up to the top of that cloud anymore. 
I'm going right along there and I'll get different variations of light and shadow right down there. Just imagine trying to do this the old traditional way. You'll be there forevermore, and we don't want that. We want you to learn. So if you're at home, you're anxious to learn about painting, I'd love to take it up as a hobby, tune in here now. If you're at home and you can't get out your housebound, come with me now for the next half an hour. Sit up, this painting is for everybody. We don't care if you never went to school or never done art when you were at school, we don't care. This is for you, for everyone. And if you're an established painter, the best to look to you. And maybe this system might help you as well, because I do know a lot of the professional artists are now using these big brushes to get the effects on the skies. And so you go down into the grill, there's a grill down there, and go down into the grill and clean the brush. Get all the surplus paint off and wipe it. And then go down to this bucket, shake it in, and belt the hell out of it. And you have a lovely, lovely clean brush again. Lovely clean brush. And if you keep a nice clean brush or nice clean equipment, you'll have a lovely clean, um, beautiful clean painting at the end of the day, crisp and clean. This, now this brush is not an ordinary paintbrush that you paint at home. It's a specially made two inch with special bristles, lovely soft bristles. That'll give you a beautiful, beautiful effects on the skies and everywhere else. And if you invest in one of these brushes, it will do you for the rest of your life. So it's a good investment. They're not that expensive when you see other people's products. They're very, very good, but it's for the rest of your life. And I might as well wash the other brush now that I'm at it. So I'm just going to wash the brush down into the white spirit, shake it out, down in here to the beater bucket, into it, and then hit it. There's a bar across that, and you can hit it off the bar. And then you're, you have a lovely, clean, crisp brush. Lovely and clean. And that will give you a lovely, clean, crisp painting this evening. Now, I want you to come back up here. I need to make up a dark green now again. And maybe a little bit to the autumn side. So I've got to go to the brown side. A bit of green and Van Dyke brown. No black this time, no black. Green and Van Dyke brown. And get a null of green. Lovely brown green. Lovely brown green. Now that's fine. That's fine. Okay, come on up here now. Now I'm going to go in with the one inch brush. I'm about to show this to the camera people. There's new people in the studios for the last couple of months. Uh, we all had got on very well. Just got to tap into that now. Pull it out and tap into it. And I want to thank everybody in the studio for being patient with me. Because I suppose they didn't need patience. Now, I have one thing to do here is soften that sky before I go any further. Very gently, very gently go across it and ask it to sit down, sit down there. So, I just want to thank all the people here to, uh, for being patient with me and to Brenda who looked after us and fed us and everybody down at the canteen and to thank the old director of programs and you know he's in good form today and he's not as bad as I paint him. He's not as bad. He's okay. Now he threatened me he wouldn't let me go back to Cork if I didn't say that. <laughs> so I'm going to say Paul you're a pure gentleman. A pure gentleman, if ever I met one. And down and just tap now. Just tap away there. And down here then you can paint it as though you're painting the old back door at home. There now, tap again here now.
Yes, all people come in from other studios around. They'll be doing their own thing and they hear that Irish paint magic is in the building. And they come over to have a look at the old cart fella and the crew. And we had a lovely visit from Paul Redmond, who called and was recording with Karen. And he came as well. He helped we were all here. Now, I'm going to go in to the... Uh, with the liner brush into this, mixing up a bit of yellow ochre, a small bit of red, and a small bit of white, just to get that kind of a color, okay? Okay, I'm going to roll that off like that now, roll it off. You get a lovely pint in the brush when you do that, okay? So, I'm just going to go up here, make the noises. Uh, big old bodily tree there, and up here, branch, and here, right. and let him flare out there, small bit. I'm going to put a little bit of foliage in before I go any further there. I think a little bit there in the background. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, yellow. That'll give me a kind of an autumn colour. Back in, pushing into it. Come up here now. And um, I just get a little bit of a, some of these things, a little bit of highlights on them. Lovely. Coming on down there to that. And here. On the way down there, and I'm going to pick up some of that colour and put in stems as well that may not be shown, but I'm going to put them in now in case they might break through later, and to make my life easy as well. All just stems that most of these will be covered up anyway, so, but it's just the ones that don't be. It'll save me the bother trying to go in with a liner brush later. So I'll leave it at that. Just leave it at that. Now, I'll go back to the one inch brush. Here. Pick up some of the tops of those trees. Right down. Ireland, Let them run on down in there. Maybe another bit of the liner, liner brush, another tree there. Mm -hmm. These are nice liner brushes now, they're working quite well now. And down there, and again, back. Back to the all one inch brush and just tap in and ask the trees and the foliage to sit down. Ask them to sit down. All along. Nice warm colours now. Nice warm colours. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit saddened today, and I'll be leaving, leaving Dublin today to go home. Back down to the real county in Ireland, down to County Cork. And all down along here now, there's foliage and undergrowth there. Right in front of that tree. There's a little bit of greenery down there as well. Yes, we enjoyed all the people that wrote into us, sent emails, rang us. And it was nice to get such a positive response. Very nice. I must say.
and all along there now, just shove those old trees back there. Get back there. Get back. All down. Give, leave plenty of darts down there for the bunny rabbits. The little bunnies. Now I'm going to get um, some cad yellow and I'm going to put it right across there. Look. Push all those trees back. Go back now, Mr. Trees. Go back. Thank you. Thank you. Back into the... You can pull some of the shadows out from the base there. And they go back for you. Just talk nice. Talk nice. I want this to be bright now here. Quite bright. Nice bright lawn. Out in the paddock. And now I'm going to go to the green again. I don't want it to be too bright here, outside of me. And I'm going to add black to it. And I'm mixing the colors on the canvas now. I couldn't do that without the, the liquid clear being in there. You can mix the colors on the canvas. It's not possible to do it the old fashioned way you would have to mix them on the palette and wait for one to dry and all that. And it's not possible to do it I don't want to do that. I haven't time to be waiting for one color to dry. So I want to, it's not that I haven't time here. I haven't time here anywhere, but I'm just saying, all of you, you can do this without doing it the old fashioned way. No. Big long strokes now, big long strokes now. Lovely. Down here, I'm just going to just tap up. A bit of texture all along there. Not much now, just tapping. You can hear the drum, it's like a bar on. All along there. I'm going to pick up some red, do the same thing. There's an awful lot of reds and grasses, you know. A lot of reds and grasses. Red. Yellows. It's just that we want a bit of texture there, next to us. Just next to us. And again, as I say, don't go to terrible great trouble doing grasses. Just tap up the brush. I better show the cameras this close up again. Just, just pull out the paint flat and tap into it like that. Just pull it out flat. Tap into it, all different colors. And that then is the other side of the brush. And if you do that nice and gentle, and turn the brush onto the canvas, you'll get all those broken colors. So come back up again now. And again, just to give you that grassy effect. Then you can do all this with reeds on the rivers and in the lakes, on the edges of the rivers and lakes. It does the same thing. Don't make your life going in there with a little brush trying to put all them in. But whatever you do, don't tell anyone I showed you how to do that. The colleges will go mad. They'll go mad. They're all cock full of telling everyone. Try to do us out of a job. Yeah, they don't. That's only having a joke with them. They know that. I know there's a college in Waterford, and I, I believe they all look in as well to the program, and the teachers tell them to look in, and I want to thank them sincerely. If it helps anybody, that's what we're here for. If there's any new ideas, that's what we're here for. Try and, try and make this available for everybody. It's a lovely pastime. And there's no class distinction. It's lovely. It doesn't matter what you are. Whether you're a judge or a bishop or a man sweeping the streets or a painter and decorator or a carpenter, plumber, we don't care. We don't care. It's for everyone. It's even for the old director of programs, and he's painting as well. And I showed you some of his work in one of the other programs, and they all said, oh, well, isn't he a lovely man? And the way you were painting him, you gave him an awful reputation. I didn't really. I did not. Now, I want you to come up here, because uh, you know me and the contact paper, and I just want you to come up here, because I have a few 
have a little half here on the lawn, working on the lawn. I have a tool, little bit of filling in to do with him now in a minute. And here we are, a lovely little fall, a little fall. And Mammy is so proud of the fall. She's really proud. And if ever I saw a prospect of a winner in Cheltenham, that fall looks very, very well bred. Now I'm going back in with the liner brush now to a bit of Van Dyke Brown, tinned out, tinned out, Van Dyke Brown. And a little bit of cyan as well. I'm going in here to clean up the little fall. So here's a neat little thing. Definitely put a few bob in him when he's running two years time in Cheltenham. He'll win the Gold Cup. And you can always say you saw him first on TG Car with David Willis of Irish Paint Magic. All along here, just cleaning up the edges now, that's all I'm doing. Just cleaning up the edges. And I've got to come over here. A little bit of dark green now I need. Just a little bit, not much. Get in here. Clean up that edge. And I'm using the Mahal stick now, the little Mahal stick, they call M A H L, Mahal. And uh, all the artists use them to keep their hands off of the painting when they're wet, like, like this painting is wet now. And I just break that up here. Like this painting is wet. And it's a good, it's only, it's only an ordinary bit of stick now. There's nothing fancy about this. But you can buy a professional one in the, in the shops if you wish. And you get a, a lovely one with a, with a cork on the top of it and um, other, I think, chamois. I think they use chamois over the cork. And it's lovely. It's much better than the one I have. But I have no money down in cork to be. We don't have any money down there to be buying those fancy ones. So I'm going back in now with this brush and I'm going to pull right in front of the little fall and ask him to sit down. Sit down there. There's a good. And here's Mammy behind you. And she's keeping an eye on you in case you'd run off. She knows that someday in Cheltenham I have a champion here. Isn't he gorgeous? And he's really nice. So I feel saddened again. And I must say, I just want to thank you sincerely for allowing me into your home. I want to thank all the staff in the studio for putting up with me and the old cock lad. And we're going to finish this series. It's the last of series five. But it doesn't mean there won't be uh, uh, more. There will if you request it. The, what I'm going to say, I'm going to thank the Dublin City Ramblers for singing the beautiful team tune of Ireland, my Ireland. And I want um, you to listen to this now. And we're also going to show you some of the shots that we've done on this series. So until we meet again, Goremila Mahagot, Shlan Lech, and God bless you all, my friends. With a tear in my eye, I will say my last goodbye. For I'm going where the grass, it is greener Out of town, homeward bound I am leaving today For the land that I've forever dreamed of Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her o'er the dark rolling sea she is calling to me oh i'm coming back home to ireland when i first left my home i was inclined to roam as a boy sure my age it was twenty with my head full of dreams Full of hopes and full of schemes To the land that was so full of plenty Ireland, my Ireland Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her O'er the dark rolling sea 
she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland. Well, I found me a job and I tried to settle down. But my heart for my home was ever yearning. With my dreams wandered forth to the land of my birth. And the day that I would be returning. Ireland, my Ireland, oh, I'm coming home. Though I roam, sure my heart never left her. Oh, the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland.